friend welcome to your new vlog um this is a very special vlog because today is my birthday i'm turning 34 years old today and i have visitors in the city i have three friends coming from germany that arrived yesterday and um, now we're actually gonna get ready and go up to Holmenkollen. It's a ski jumping hill that is very famous and very popular sightseeing goal to visit and to see. And um, yeah, I'm actually completely ready. I have planned and packed everything and I take you with me on this journey these next days. And we're just gonna explore a bit about Oslo. I mean, it's my home, but I'm not that often like exploring the place anymore because you just don't and i think it's really cool to be kind of like tourists in your own city and um i hope you're gonna enjoy this and um yeah let's catch the bus let's catch the subway and then we're off to home goal great birthday yeah I was really happy um, spending the day with my friends um, my sister called in the evening my parents called in the evening I've got a lot of messages and my sister was really surprised that she was the first one calling and I think that's a really interesting um, development over the past probably at least 10 years that people usually just write a message and not call anymore and I mean, I'm the same. I don't call that many people either. So I take it as a kind of like encouragement to call people a bit more often when, um, when it's their birthday because I think it feels very different if you call somebody than just writing a message. So yeah, I was really grateful for the calls I got and all the messages and um, the birthday gifts. Um, I got a new bracelet. So for sightseeing we went to Holmenkollen. It's a ski jumping hill. What I find very fascinating, um, this is a newer version and the ski jumping hill that they had before, actually in the, on the end of the ski jumping hill, during summer, this was a public pool. Um, I don't know how it actually worked if they just filled it up with water. Um, but you could kind of like walk with the steps, just walk into the water and then swim at the end of a ski jumping hill. Um, I've seen pictures of that and I think this is so cool and probably it today would um, really destroy all the infrastructure. And I also remember when they built that ski jumping hill, the new one, 
they had actually plans to use it also for the summertime because then you have to put like these green mats on it and I remember the first years they also had that so they were training in the summer on these kids come June hills and I think they just stopped that I probably it's too expensive and maybe it's not used enough because I guess it's mostly the national team that using these ski jumping hills um, yeah I don't I don't really know the full story why they don't use it anymore but I'm guessing it's um, to reduce costs and they often train a lot in Lillehammer so and that all year round so yeah probably they chose that there's another smaller ski jumping hill uh, Mitsubakian um, which we didn't visit today because we didn't have time. I'm wondering if they can use that one. I'm not sure. But they also use the home call now for a zip line that you can um, go on. I, I remember my sis and I, we wanted to go, but it's... We're both afraid of heights, so we decided not to do it. And my friends, they all looked at him like, we're not gonna do that either. So yeah, we just kind of strolled around. I showed a little bit about how um, everything works here and where people are standing. We did a little stairs training going up and we also tried the ski simulator, which was really fun. Um, I also got two new mittens because I always get them at this souvenir shop up there. Um, they're really nice. Um, they didn't have my normal color that I usually have, but um, the blue ones look really fun and yeah. Really happy about that. And after that, we went back into the city. Everyone got changed at the hotel and then we went to Olivia, which is my favorite restaurant. Um, so we ate dinner there. The food tastes really good. I really like it. I also love that they have reasonable prices, but this time um, it took quite a long time until we got our food. So that was, I wasn't that hungry, so it was okay for me, but probably the other ones were really hungry, so. Yeah, that was a little downside, but it was still a lovely atmosphere. Service was really nice. Then we went to the Oslo Tree, which is a art installation with, I think, over 40,000 LED lights. And um, it has different color patterns. Um, you saw it in the video yesterday. Um, I think currently they have more or less the Norwegian flag, but I have also seen very different um patterns so i'm not sure how often they change it i think i haven't seen the tree for a while so and i have no idea how long it's gonna stay there i think it's really lovely i wish they would have it for all the time but it's probably also really expensive to have all these lights there but um if you're in Oslo currently or in the next months i really recommend go to Tupon. There you will find it and it's it's lovely to look at and i have to say it feels a bit like a meditation just looking at it and just sitting there yeah it's really nice and obviously tree farm in the summer it's really nice to stroll around um, my friends all loved it very much and yeah then we took the tram back home mm -hmm. 